Hi guys! I'm so excited. I'm back on Weight Watchers and I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm eating today. So today is January 4th. It is a Thursday. Um, I have been doing Weight Watchers since the 1st. I got a blue dot on the 1st and the 2nd. Yesterday I ate a lot more than I should have. Of course I used weeklies, which is fine. That's what they're there for, but I did not get a blue dot, sadly. Um, but I didn't want to immediately start sharing with you guys the very first day because I wanted to kind of get back in the groove. And also I talked a little bit in an upcoming video, I'm not sure if that video is going to go up before this one or after this one, about how I don't want to get into an unhealthy place with my weight loss and eating. And so I'm not really sure how often I'm going to be sharing what I ate videos, like definitely not daily because... I feel like I got to a point last time where I was obsessing over food to the point where it was all I was thinking about and it just got to be a really unhealthy place. So, um, you know, I did Weight Watchers videos for a really long time on a daily basis and it just, I think I got overwhelmed with it. It got to be too much. So I definitely want to share with you guys because you guys are super motivating and helpful and encouraging. And also I feel like my videos sometimes help you guys, but I don't want to overdo it. So figured today, since I've been doing it for a little while, I think I have a feel for how the freestyle program goes. I would go ahead and share with you guys, um, but I don't think I'll be sharing on a daily basis. We'll see. But on the first of the year, I stepped on the scale and I was 259 pounds. So right back where I started before, when I originally started on Weight Watchers, the exact same weight. So clearly, I lost 50 pounds, I gained 50 pounds back. We're not going to talk about it, we're just going to move forward. So that gives me 31 daily points. Um, that's what I get every single day. And for weekly points, in this case, I've used some weekly points. Um, I've rolled over some and I've used some. So let's go back a little bit and see how many points I actually get. 46 weekly points I start out the week with and 31 daily points. Um, at this point, I have 36 weekly points left. I used quite a few of them yesterday. Um, and I have 31 daily points. So breakfast this morning is super easy and simple. I have two hard-boiled eggs. I've actually been buying eggs that are already hard-boiled from Walmart, being super lazy, um, but it's great for a quick early morning breakfast when I don't want to think about it. So with the freestyle program, I don't have to count these point, these eggs. So zero points for the eggs, which is awesome. I also have some zero-point apple slices. Um, my coffee this morning was three tablespoons of the sugar-free Italian sweet cream creamer from Coffee Mate. That's one point. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't actually measure it. I need to get back to actually measuring my creamer. I just kind of poured, so there might be more than a point there, but I'm only going to count a point. I'm a rebel. And then I have two slices of chicken bacon, which I overcooked a little bit in the microwave. You wouldn't think that I could screw up already cooked bacon, but there you go, I did. It is the El Fresco chicken bacon. We're going to go ahead and add that into my app here, and I'll tell you exactly how many points that is. Two slices of the El Fresco uncured chicken bacon is one smart point. So between my bacon and my coffee, I have two smart points so far for the day. And I will check back in with you guys um, the next time that I eat. But I'm very, very excited to be sharing with you guys and being back on track. Hopefully I'll have a really great weight loss this week. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be posting weigh-in videos. Might just be once a month. Again, I don't want this to become all-consuming and be a situation where I get obsessive. So we'll see how it goes. It'll just kind of naturally progress, but I'm excited to share with you guys for today. So All right, you guys. So I am just putting together my little lunch here. I thought that I would show you what I made. So for my bread, I have two slices of the Fit and Active wheat bread. This is the same bread I always use. It's 45 calories a slice, and it is one point per slice. So I have two points for my two slices of bread. I have some of this Lunchmate deli-style rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. 
Um, five slices of this scans as zero smart points because it's 98% fat free, super low in calories, and it's really, really delicious. So I have five slices of that on my sandwich. I have a slice of this deli style Munster cheese, and that is three smart points. Um, I also have a tablespoon of the Kraft fat-free mayo on there. I forgot to, that I have already put that away, but um, just a tablespoon of that, and that is zero smart points. And then I have four points worth of these Great Value Nacho Cheese Tortilla Chips. They're like, um, you know, off-brand Doritos. Really, really good. So that's lunch. I know it's not terribly creative, but that's what I've got, and that's what I'm working with. So I'm going to go and enjoy this. It is about 12.30. Um... And I'll check in with you guys probably later. Hey guys, so it is about 4 o'clock now. I'm going to be starting dinner in about an hour, but I'm starving. So I'm going to have five points worth of white cheddar popcorn. It's one ounce of popcorn or one and three quarter cups, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have that and then I'm going to make some chili. Okay guys, so it's dinner time now and I made a venison chili. I put the recipe into my Weight Watchers app and it worked out to be five points per serving. Um, I have a little bit less than a whole serving here but I'm going to count it as five points. Um, I'm going to add three points worth of this fit and active reduced fat cheddar cheese. Um, a quarter of a cup is three points so I'm going to add that and I'm going to add two points worth of saltine crackers and that's going to be dinner tonight for a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten smart points. All right, guys, so my chili was absolutely delicious. Um, I did add an extra serving of crackers because I felt like it needed it. So dinner actually ended up being, um, let's see, 12 points for that chili with 10 crackers and a quarter of a cup of cheese. Um, and now I'm going to have half of this Halo Top birthday cake. It's coming up as five points for one cup, which is about half of this. So I'm going to enjoy that. I'm probably gonna start with um, a quarter of a cup now and then finish the other half a little bit later. But that is going to bring me up to a total of um, 32 points for the day. So I did use one weekly, but that gave me my blue dot. So breakfast was two points. Lunch was nine points. Dinner with that ice cream was a total of 17 points. And then that white cheddar popcorn I had for a snack was four points. I believe I was telling you guys wrong totals earlier when I was t telling you what everything was, but entered into the app. It's a total of 32 points for the day and um, I'm pretty excited about it. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.